He ought to be righteous. He ought to be pure in his thoughts. He, he ought to uh, separate and sanctify himself from the lifestyles of other men in the world. Because he's not his own man anymore. He's God's man. Amen. He, he can't do what he used to do before he got saved. He, he's a sanctified individual now. And God has set him apart from the world. And, and I always say, keep your nose clean. Because if people got dirt on you, it, it'll be very hard for you to be used. If people know some things about you, it is really, really hard for you to be used. Because people will uh, point fingers at you. They will discredit you. They will tell you, who are you to tell me when you got this going on in your life? You got to live above reproach. You got to live a clean life. Your speech needs to be clean. The way you treat people needs to be clean. It all needs to be clean. Now, that don't mean you're perfect. But people know when they're looking at an imperfect person than a person who's just messing up. How you look to the world ought to matter. How the world perceive you ought to matter. Get rid of the attitude. I don't care what people think about me. The only person that can judge me is God. That's true. But God is also saying you need to be a light of the world. You need to be a salt of the earth. Your lifestyle needs to uh, reflect who Jesus Christ is. And if you say you got God living in your heart, then it needs to be seen in the way you live.